In this video, I will be discussing about binary tree traversals. There are two techniques in which we can do these traversals, recursive and iterative. So this video will be focusing on the recursive techniques to do the binary traversals. Now let's first understand what we mean by traversal. So traversal is the process of visiting each node of the tree. When we talk about linear data structures, there is only one logical way of the traversal. But in case of trees, there can be many ways of traversing the nodes. If we classify the traversal techniques in depth first search traversals or breadth first search traversals, then the depth first search traversals are in order, pre order, and post order. So these three are the DFS techniques to traverse the tree, and level order traversal is the BFS technique. So here I'll be explaining the DFS techniques to traverse the tree. So let's first discuss the in order traversal. In in order traversal, we visit the left subtree first, then we visit the root, and the last we visit the right subtree. So the order of visiting is left, root, and then right. So if we are given this tree and we have to find the in order traversal, then we can find it if we decompose this tree into subtrees. So these are the subtrees that we'll get. So as we know, the first step is we need to visit the left subtree, then root, and then right. So we start the traversal from A, then the left subtree for A is the one highlighted in blue. So when we visit D, the left subtree is the one highlighted in H. So the traversal will start from H, from H will go to the root, the root is D, and then we'll go to the right subtree. So the right subtree is this. So when we come here, we again visit the left node. So the left node is P, then we visit the root. Now this entire subtree is done. So we visit the root, which is A, then we visit this right subtree. So for the right subtree, there is no left node. So all these are the root. So it will be Z, C, E. So this is a short form of writing the in-order traversal. Let's see the pseudo code which helps us in finding this in-order traversal. So the recursive method of finding the in-order traversal is very simple. We just have these four lines of code. So we have this function in order which accepts a tree node parameter. So tree node is a structure which has a care value, a left pointer and the right pointer. So this is a typical way of representing a tree node. So in this in order function, we first check whether this node is null. If it is null, we return from here. Otherwise, we visit the left subtree, then we print the node value and at the last, we call the right subtree. So let's draw the recursion tree diagram for this in order traversal. So we'll start the traversal from node A. This is our start. So in the first step, we call in for A. So the node is A and let's say we are printing the output here. So node is A, we check if it is null. So it is not null. So we call in order for left of A. So node becomes D. We check if D is null and then we call in order for left of D. So we call in order for H. Node becomes H. We check if it is null and we call in order for left of H. So left of H is null. So we call in for null. So node is now null. When node is null, we return from here. So we return. So node again becomes H and then we print node val. So we print H here and we call in order for node right. So right of H is also null. So we call in of null. Node value is null. So here again, we check if it is null, then we return from here. So we again return from this. So now this function call is finished for in order of H. So we return from here. The node value is now D. When we go to D, we print the value of D and we call in order for right of D. We call in for L. So node is now L. We check if it is null and then we call left of L. So we call in of P. So node is now P. We check if it is null. And then we call in order for left of P. So we call in for null. So node is now null. We reach here in the if condition and we return from here. So when we return, we print the value for P. And then we call right of P. So right of P is also null. So we call in for null and then we return from here. So now processing of P is done. So we return from P. We go to L and we print the value for L. So node is now L and we call right of L. So node value is now null. We go in the if condition and we return from here. Now processing of L is also done. So we return from here. So now left of A is done. So we go back and we print the value for A. And then we call in order for right of A. So we call in order for Z. So node is Z now. 
we check if z is null then we call in order for left of z so we call in order for null so when node is null we return from here and then we print the value for node so we print z here and we call in order for right of z right of z is c so node becomes c now we check if it is null and then we call in order for left of c so we call in order for null node is null when it is null we return from the if condition and then we print the value for c and we call right of c so right of c is e so node becomes e and we call left of e so left of e is null when it is null we return from the if condition so we return from here and we print the value for e and then we call right of e so right of e is also null and then we return from the if condition so now processing of e is also done we return to c from c we return to z and from z we return to a so now the recursion terminates and this is our in order traversal so in this way we can find the in order traversal of a tree using recursion now let's see the next traversal which is the pre order traversal in pre order traversal we visit the root first then we visit the left subtree and last we visit the right subtree so if we are given this tree and we have to find the pre order traversal the first step is again to decompose this into subtrees and the first step is we have to print the root so the root is a we start the traversal from a then we go to the left we reach this blue subtree we print the value for root then we reach this h node we print its value then we go to the right subtree of d which is highlighted in red so we print l then we print the left node which is p then everything in the left is processed so we reach to the right side here we print the node z there is nothing in left so we print c and we print e so let's see how we can get this pre order traversal using recursion so in pre order traversal first we print the node value then we visit the left subtree and in the last step we visit the right subtree so let's see the recursion tree diagram for this we start the traversal from a so a is our start node so a is not null we print the value for a and we go to its left subtree so we call pre for d so when we reach d we check if it is null and then we print the value for d and then we call left of d so node is now h we print the value for node and we call pre order for left of h so we call pre for null so node is now null when it is null we return from if condition and then we call pre order for node right when it is null we again return from the if condition so we return from here so now h is processed we go to d now we have to process the right subtree so we call pre for l so node is now l we print the value for node and we call its left subtree so left subtree is p so node is now p and we print the value for p and then we call left of p which is null so node is now null when it is null we return from the if condition and then we call right of p which is also null and we again return from the if condition so now this is processed we go back to the l l is also processed we go to d and then we again go to a from a we call right so we call pre of z when we call pre z we print z and we call left for z left for z is null then we return from here and we call right for z when node is c we print the value for c and we call left for c left for c is null when node is null we return from the if condition and we call right for c right for c is e node becomes e and we print the value for e and then we call left for e so left for e is null when we call for null we return from the if condition so we return from here and then we call for the right tree and we again return from here now e is processed we return to c then we return to z and then we return to a the function ends and this is our pre order traversal that we get now let's check the post order traversal in post order traversal we first visit the left subtree then we visit the right subtree and at the last we visit the root so if this is our tree we decompose this into subtrees and we get this diagram so if we print the post order traversal for this we first check the left tree so left is the blue one for blue this green one is the leftmost node so we start the traversal from h then we go to the right so this is the right subtree for right the left is p 
then we go to the write node so nothing is there in write of l so we print the root then we print d now we check the write subtree for a which is highlighted in blue so we go to d and we check the write subtree for a so write subtree of a is the one highlighted in blue so from here we again do the post order traversal so there is no left tree here so we go to the rightmost node and then we print so in the post order traversal the root will always be the last element and in the pre order traversal the root will be the first element so let's see how we can get the post order traversal from recursion so here just the order is different we first visit the left subtree then we go to the right subtree and then we print the node value so let's again start from a we call post for a so node is a now we check if it is null and then we call the post for left of a so node becomes d and we call left for t so we call it for h node is now h and then we call for left of h which is null node is now null when we call for null we return from the if condition and then we call right of h we again return from the if condition and then we print the h value so we return from here we go to d we check the right subtree for d we call for l so node is now l we check if it is null and then we check the left value for l so left node for l is p so node is now p we check if it is null and then we call the left for p so we call for null when node is null we return from the if condition and then we call for the right of p and we return from here when we return we print the value for p and then we return to l now node is l we check the right subtree for l so right subtree for l is null so we call post for null when we call for null we return from the if condition and then we print the value for l so now l is also processed we go back to d and we print the value for d and then we go back to a and then we process the right subtree for a so we call post for z so now node is z and we call for left of z so we call for post of null so node is null now and then we return from the if condition and then we call for the right of z which is c so node is c when we reach c we check left of c left of c is null node is now null and we return from the if condition and then we go to the right of c so right of c is e node is now e and then we go to the left of e so left of e is null so we return from the if condition and then we again call right of e which is also null and we return from here also and then we print the value for e then this subtree is processed we go back to c and we print the value for c then we go to z we print the value for z and then we go to a we print the value for a so this is our post order traversal that we obtain from this tree so you can see that a is the root which is the last node so once we've understood all these forms of traversals let's see how we can implement them in c++ all the code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's jump into the code. In the main function, I've just created the tree. So the root node is A, left of root is D, and then left of left is H. So in this manner, I've created all the nodes of the tree. Then I have function in order traversal in which I'm passing the root node. In this function, I first check if the node pass is null, if it is null, I return. So this is the terminating condition. Then I call in order traversal for the left subtree. Then I print the value. And at the last, I call the in order traversal for the right subtree. Then I go back in the main function and I call this pre order traversal function. In the pre order function, only the order is different. So first, I print the value. Then I go to the left subtree and then I go to the right subtree. Then again, I go in the main function and I print the post order traversal. So in post order traversal, First, I check the left subtree, then I check the right subtree, and then I print the value. So let's see the output of this program. So the output you can see is the same which we have discussed. So in the pre-order traversal, root node is the starting, and in the post-order traversal, root node is the last. So that was all for this video. In the next videos, we'll see the iterative version, how we can do this traversal without using recursion. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.